What's up guys, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video. I'm here at the shop with the 435, the two lifts, because these are part of the family now. And then we got John over there working on his, uh, his, his, his car. So, um, he's fixing a little current leak, and he's gonna be doing some uh, custom mods to his car to make it look even better. So as for my car, I'm also gonna be doing some mods. We're gonna be installing some engine mods finally. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you you guys saw that I have an intercooler. I also have a charge pipe. We're gonna be installing today, I believe, the inlet and the intake. So pretty much all it's gonna need after that is like high flow cats. I'm gonna try to go with high flow cats, and then we can go ahead and do stage. I think it goes stage one or stage two. We'll see. We'll see. I want to get flames. That'd be so sick. Anywho, uh, without further ado, let's just jump into it, guys. So I have started a second channel that basically goes more in depth of all the installs. Um, I'll be linking that probably down the road. Right now, all I'm doing is pretty much going to be doing an install, but I'm also going to be going in depth and I'm going to be recording it for a future video down the road on my second channel. So if you guys want to see that video go live, make sure to subscribe to my new channel link down below. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a few little revs real quick and just see how the before and after is. Here's the before. All right, guys, and then I believe this is the inlet that connects all the way downwards. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. So if you guys do want to see an in-depth video on that, again, the channel's going to be linked down below. I'm going to be posting all the in-depth videos. But as of right now, uh, for you guys, you guys probably just want to see the, the new intake installed and the new inlet. So I'm going to go ahead and install this bad boy real quick. All right, guys, so I removed the intake. Now we're just going to go ahead. I don't have the inlet just yet. We'll upgrade the inlet down the road. So as of now, we're just going to go ahead and install the new intake. So what I have here is the MST performance intake. Um, already comes with pretty much everything and the housing. So it's a cold air intake. Uh, which is really nice. Obviously preferred, you got all the bolt-ons right there, so uh, start assembling this bad boy. Oh buddy, this is the big boy. <laughs> Damn, I'm MST. Guys, what's cool about MST products is that you get the you get a keychain, which is super nice, you get an air freshener, which is super dope, and you get some decals. I mean stickers, decals. Eh, same shit. Anywho, uh, so you get all that stuff, which is pretty cool. So shout out to them, shout out to MST, shout out to Keys. This is what I went through to get this thing, so that's pretty dope. So we got all the screws, which is nice because uh, hardware is a big necessity when assembling this thing. So uh, God bless is an instruction manual. That's nice. So a little bit of a process here. I'm gonna follow the instruction manual with you guys, but uh, you guys can probably see how I'm doing this. So first off, we need this guy, which is the beautiful shield. This is MST on it. I don't know if you guys can see my face. Hold on. All right, guys. So once we pretty much install this little piece here, it, ba it basically sits this little pouch where the original intake went. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here. Oh, kind of. Yeah, and it just sits like that. It's pretty, pretty simple. And then there's a little place where you're supposed to put a screw. Let me just go ahead and install it real quick and I'll show you guys where you need to put this screw. It's basically a 10 millimeter and then a nut and then a washer. All right guys, so now I have the actual pipe itself, the intake, and then I also have the sensor screwed in. They actually give you new bolts and new washers for this, which is really nice. So now we have this heat shield on. We're not actually gonna put on the next heat shield yet. We're actually gonna install this little intake pipe. So first off, we're gonna screw that down and then uh, we take off this little grommet here. There's something that was sitting on top of it. We took that off so we can actually plug it back in. And then uh, as for this guy, we're gonna put it right here. So we need to remove that bolt. So let's remove that bolt and then we can start lining up everything. All right guys, remember uh, that I told you that this little thing here um, was broken? Yeah. It looks like it came back to bite me in the butt because now it's not staying in. So I'm gonna put some tape to keep it in and I'm gonna have to order a hose. You can see this bracket right here is slightly broken. Uh, so yeah, I'll order a new one, but meantime, I'm just gonna tape it so I can use this intake. I broke this a while back. Actually, no, I didn't break this. No, I didn't break this. I bought it like that. Yeah, but I have to buy a new one. Anywho, uh, that's that. I also noticed I have a small oil leak here. It's nothing to do with anything, but I have to replace this. I think it's like the oil filter housing gasket, so that's gonna get replaced. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna tape that down for now. So yeah, guys, this isn't the intake. This is me, because my hose is broken. I wanna put this on for now, so I can, at least I can rock this hose. So that sucks, but it ain't coming out. It is what it is. Uh, let me know if there's a better tape than electrical tape. I mean, what is this tape? I don't even know. Duct tape. Let me know if there's anything better than duct tape, but uh, for now, it's the best I can do. The final thing is to put this cover on, and then we can test it out. I'm really excited to hear it. All right, guys, so the intake is finally in here. Again, just one janky thing, but that's because of my hose, not the intake. Intake's perfectly fine. The fitment's absolutely insane. Look at this intake. So I went ahead and bolted it down. Super sick, the cone is in there, which is super nice. Um, I love the cutout too, it makes it look 
aftermarket, which is super nice. It also has the MST sticker right there. So without further ado, I guess it's, it's time to hear some just some revs. I'm hoping is a huge difference. If not, probably have to upgrade the inlet or something, but I'm hoping maybe we can hear a significant difference. sounds a whole lot better. I remember my brother's was actually a little bit louder and his was a 320. I think because it needs the inlet and the rest of the stuff. But so far, just the intake, it came from nothing to something, which is super nice. So that actually sounds pretty good. I want to take it down the road real quick. So um, I think we might have to. All right, guys, I'm hoping you guys can hear my reaction. Uh, let's go ahead and take that for a spin. I need a better, I need a GoPro or something for you guys. Set y'all like right there for now. Truth, let's go. That sounds, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hold up. <laughs> that is the best sound from every turbo car. Guys, the turbo is so much louder. I want to get it obviously a little bit louder, so I'm going to be working on that. But this is Oh, we finally got that turbo sound. I missed my N54 because of this turbo sound. It sounds so good. Woohoo! Damn, what? So now that we have the intake installed, I don't really want to stop there. I want to start one more pretty sick mod. So we have the intake now, we have an uh, intercooler, we have the charge pipe. So the only things we're missing now to have a full bolt on is the inlet, and we're missing the what's it called? Let's go ahead and install the boost pipe, the one down there. And then that, that's pretty much the intercooler connects to a charge pipe and a boost pipe. So let's go ahead and do the boost pipe so we have everything on the bottom bolted on. And then the only things we're gonna need, we already have the charge pipe, the intercooler, we just need the inlet. So I'm gonna be trying to get one of those in the near future. But for the meantime, let's go ahead and get the boost pipe in and in the, we have the intake in this video. So we have pretty much almost all the bolt-ons for the tune. Um, of course, we need down pipes and all that stuff down the road. For those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, I've already announced so a piece of the exhaust that I've already gotten. It's part of the back end. So if you guys are wondering what I got exactly, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I always announce some things on there before YouTube. It's just kind of a habit, you know, when you get something, you want to post on Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me on there, you guys will know what exactly I got. After this video, I'll post the exact exhaust system that I got for this car on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check it out, make sure you check out my Instagram. But anywho, let's install the boost pipe. So the intake is from um, MST from Keys Motorsports' website. And then the boost pipe is from, I think, F FTP. So the, the brand of the boost pipe is from FTP. I got this also from Keys Motorsports website. So it's pretty small. It's this little, this little boost pipe and then uh, some brackets and hoses and stuff. So let's jump underneath the car and jack it up and hopefully replace this. I'm hoping it's pretty easy. When it comes to cars, when is anything ever easy? You know, so like, luckily the intake was easy. The intake was easy, but I'm assuming this might be a little bit tricky on the bottom here, but let's try it. All right, guys, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and jack up the car and uh, get to the inner core so we can replace the boost pipe. Because once we do the boost pipe, again, all we need is the inlet. So let's go ahead and replace this. It's mostly like for, ma for maintenance measures, so let's get all this stuff done so uh, we can push some major power when the time comes. All right, guys, uh, I don't think I'm doing something right. It is super hard to get this boost pipe out. Um, I'm having a really tough time. So the boost pipe, for some reason, is disconnected from the intercooler, but it goes hella deep in. I don't really know what's going on. Like, this boost pipe right here is going in, like, all the way. So I don't know how to get to it, but there's a whole bunch of hoses in the way. As for the top, maybe I'm supposed to get to it from the top. So I'm gonna give it one more chance, and I'm gonna try to disconnect it from the top. Guys. That was insane. So, I'm not a mechanic, as most of you guys know. I, I'm a normal guy like you guys that like to work on cars. And I'm not gonna lie, because I don't wanna I don't wanna lie to you guys. A boost pipe, no matter where you guys get it from, is gonna be kind of a pain for an F. If you have a, a six-cylinder 
um, F30 chassis or F32 chassis. If you guys have the four cylinder, because I remember my brother's car, it was a lot more accessible because the engine's like half the size of this one. Well, technically two thirds, but you know. This, all the hoses are super close to each other and I couldn't even get my hand in there. I don't even know if my hand, I, I literally been washing it for the last like 30 minutes with a whole bunch of different soap to try to get my hands clean. And that, that, that's irrelevant, anywho. End of the day, I couldn't actually get to the boost pipe. I was just trying to put the intercooler back. Everything went back perfectly. Thankfully, I've got the charge pipe back in, intakes in. Uh, I got the intercooler in, so everything is good. But the boost pipe, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wait and save that as a project to use on the lifts. So for the meantime, it's all right, it's fine. But I can't end the video on just one mod. So we're gonna be installing some of these guys today in this video, yep. We have some carbon fiber mirror covers. Check these guys out, these are the M4 style. Let me go ahead and reach in there real quick. Check out these M4 style carbon fiber mirror caps. So here's a better display. We got some carbon fiber mirror caps, carbon fiber extended paddles, which are absolutely insane. You can convert the paddles that I have. You don't need to have M4 paddles to convert these. These work with any kind of paddles. And then I also have the interior trim that goes around pretty much the shift knob. These are all real carbon, guys. These are not dipped in carbon. This is all from Keys Motorsports, like all real carbon. This isn't dipped. So if you guys even look in the back of these, you guys can see that's all carbon, which looks really nice. And obviously they're lighter. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and install some mirror caps M4 style and even this little centerpiece. So this is a really easy install. These shouldn't be too hard, so let's get into that. For the paddles, let's go ahead and save these. Why? Because your boy actually ordered a custom steering wheel. Yes, so for the 435, I ordered a completely custom, like completely custom steering wheel that looks absolutely insane. And when the time comes and that wheel gets delivered, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on those paddles to get the full complete feel of the new paddles, the new steering wheel, all that good stuff. So yeah, true, we didn't get the boost pipe in, but we still got some mods. Before we start adding some more carbon, let's go ahead and just lower the car. I don't like it sitting like this. So let's go ahead and remove everything and uh, lower down the car. All right, guys, the car is officially put down. I cannot believe this intake's in here. It looks so good, and it sounds super nice, so that's a big plus. Guys, check out that front end. Oh my God. It's not even aired out, and it looks so good. I think this is a monster truck height right now, so I can actually jack it, but it still looks so good. Anyway, guys, let me know whether you guys want me to wrap the new carbon fiber M4 style mirrors, because I do like the copper contrast, but let me know in the end. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap it, because I do like the M4 thing. Regardless, I'll rewrap the M4 ones in this color, but I really want the M4 style, and underneath it, it's carbon, so that's super sick. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these off. Finally, all right guys, it just needs a little bit of prying here and there, and then you can get it off. There we go, cool. Came off, didn't break shit. That's, a, that's an A plus. Just go ahead and pop in the new carbon one now. <laughs> that looks so much more aggressive, what the hell? All right guys, so this is how the carbon looks on the mirror. That looks so much more aggressive. Now I want the smoked out turn signal to match it, but check that out. So that's how that looks. This is the after, this is the before. So let me know what you guys think. Should I stick with the carbon fiber? I mean, no, I mean, no, I'm definitely sticking with the carbon fiber, but should I, uh, should I stick with the M4 mirror? Actually, no, I'm definitely keeping the M4 mirror caps, but should I wrap it to match the same color as the car? Dude, guys, that looks insane. Look at the, look at the curvature. Oh my God. And what I like about these mirror caps too, look at that. It looks so good. Okay, cool, cool. So for the other, for, so for this side, I went ahead and popped out the mirror. For the other side, I'm just gonna try to just pop it out with this. Let's, let's, let's give it a try. All right, so if you do what I did, I broke a tab. But that's one out of uh, approximately six. It's not too shabby, not too shabby. But obviously, if you're trying to reuse this, do what I did with the other side, just remove the mirror, it's no big deal. <laughs> Damn, that mirror looks insane. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, let's check it out from the front portfolio. Damn, it looks so much more aggressive. Hell yeah, all right. We got carbon all over through the front grills, front lip, side skirts, extensions. Now we got the mirror caps. We're coming up to the roof, we have the shark fin, spoiler, and diffuses. We got a bunch of carbon now. We need more carbon, we need more carbon. Let's think about the door handles and these guys right here. So I want everything black to turn into carbon, but obviously good parts. Guys, these mirrors, they're actually, okay, so they're pretty bulky, I ain't gonna lie, they're pretty big, but it does make it look way more aggressive. This is when I air it out, you're gonna see the carbon and everything. I think this is kind of throwing it off. I do wanna get rid of these. I'm gonna go ahead and place an order on that. I think they're on eBay for like 40, 50 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna check if Keys has them. If not, I'll go ahead and place an order on that. Coming around to the inside, we got a bunch of carbon. We got a lot of carbon through the dash, all that stuff. 
even through here, but we don't have anything right here or on here. So let's go ahead and replace this. Actually, you don't have to replace it. I think you just stick it on here. So before, and just like that guy's more carbon. This looks so good. This interior is really coming together. That looks insane. Oh my God, like little touches like that. I cannot wait. I just want to put this last piece here and that completes it. Uh, I want to get rid of all the chrome, pretty much all the chrome. I mean, this is whatever, that's whatever. But I mean, this got to go. When my new steering wheel comes in, all this is going to get, this is all going to be gone. So that's going to be super nice. I think we should air out real quick just to see how the car looks with the mirrors, you know, air it out and everything. Why not? Why not? I love that sound every time. That sounds so good. So yeah, guys, that's how she's sitting right now. Damn, this car is really coming together. And to think I've had it for like less than six months. This looks insane. The mirrors, oh my, guys, this has to go. This has to go. But these mirror caps, A+. plus. Shout out to Keys. These look insane. The intake, that's insane. I cannot wait to drive this home and hear the intake. It's going to be super dope. And I cannot wait for the exhaust to be done to where I don't even need music anymore. It's just intake sounds, turbo sounds, exhaust sounds. It's going to be so sick. But anyways, guys, I pretty much concludes it for the night. I gotta head, I gotta, I got school tomorrow. I gotta head home, do some studying. So I gotta wrap things up around here. Got a lot of cleaning. But if you guys are exciting on the path, if you guys are excited on the path that I'm taking the uh, the 435 on, make sure to smash that like button. I'm at, I'm gonna be hosting another giveaway pretty soon. So if you guys are excited for that, again, smash that like button. I'm trying to give back to you guys as much as possible because things like this wouldn't be happening in my life without you guys. I'm completely blessed. So in every monthly check that I'm gonna be getting, I'm gonna be trying to do a big giveaway for you guys. So again, if you guys are excited for that, make sure. Just smash the like button. Without further ado, I gotta get cleaned up. I gotta, I gotta clean up the garage. I gotta get the other cars in here. I gotta head home, do some studying, get ready for school tomorrow. You guys know the, the school life. You guys know it's a struggle. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna.